So everyone, welcome to Power Play with CJ. Uh, someone asked me last night. Uh, it was kind of a two-part. They asked me a while ago, but I saw it a few times on Twitter last night, and I thought the question was too preposterous to answer. Um, but it's one: should the Nashville Predators fire Barry Trotz and move on with the franchise? And uh, number two: uh, should Phil Housley replace him? On the first one. To quote the great American poet Adam Levine, sometimes even the sun does set in paradise. Uh, I'm not advocating firing Trotsy, but, um, you know, I think he uh, a change may be best for both sides going forward. I wouldn't fire him right now. I'll let him finish the season. I'd give him that dignity. And number two is Phil Housley, ready to be National Hockey League head coach. A year ago, he was coaching Stillwater High School in Minnesota. Uh, he obviously coached a world junior team to gold medal, and... Uh, coached the World Championship team to a bronze medal as an assistant coach, um, but even with the gold medal team, I have a bone to pick with him. He, he does follow me on Twitter, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I appreciate Mr. Housley for doing that, but uh, you know, the way he cut, and I, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm a Boston kid, but you know, the way he cut Matt Grizzlick was um, without dignity. I Maybe it's pushing a little too far, but you don't cut a kid on Christmas Day in Russia. You know, you make those cuts earlier. And, uh, you know, to not let that kid spend Christmas with his family and then cut him from a gold medal winning team is, uh, you know, isn't fair. But, you know, I'm sure there are other factors. I'm not, I'm not pinning it all on Housley by any means. But, you know, some as a kid like Riz, like, who's near a city kid like me, um, you know, you root for kids like that that grew up under the exact same circumstances you did. But whatever. Bottom line with Housley, he needs a year to as an assistant coach um, before I'd put him in a head coaching spot. You know, I just don't think he's ready for it. And I know just, well, he played 20 years in the NHL. Yeah, he did. He played 20 years in the NHL. He had a Hall of Fame, should have a Hall of Fame career. You guys know my opinion on that. Um, but my counter argument is I know it's a different sport, but look at uh, look at Jason Kidd. Had absolutely no coaching experience coming to the season. Comes head coach of the, the Brooklyn Nets. And, uh, you know, to put up only, the shit has hit the fan. Uh, in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, take me in. I sang once to Brooklyn Decker. Uh, but, you know, just more time on the job. Maybe if they fire Trotsky at the end of the year, uh, they house him becomes a head coach by succession. I mean, he's obviously worked well with young players. Him and uh, Seth Jones seem to have a really nice rapport. But, uh, you know, I just, I'm still not for him having a head coaching job at this moment, you know. Uh, actually, probably the next head coach of the Buffalo Sabres if he's the head coach anywhere, but. It's an intriguing situation to watch in Nashville because they're kind of in no man's land. They've got they're not totally bottoming out, but they're not in playoff position. I think they're six seven points out. I'm not saying they can't make the playoffs, but it's gonna be an uphill battle. And uh, they're lucky, you know, Seth Jones fell to them, and they've got some amazing young defensemen in the organization with uh, with you know, Roman Yossi and uh, Ryan Ellis guys a bat and you know like I said Housley's great with young players particularly young defensemen uh, you guys saw my piece this summer on the Phil Housley effects on Seth Jones but I uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on the situation as I will anyway because I'm the best you know you, when you, when you want to be the best you gotta you know be aware of what's going on but uh, it should be uh, I want to see how this ends how this season ends in Nashville to be honest with you but we'll see what happens Anyway, that's on episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Trotsy Phil Housley switch. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.